Hello everyone, welcome back to The Division 2. This is, it's, I, I don't know, I really, I can't word what's going on with this game right now. Honestly, I don't understand how these people have qualifications to develop a game. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with this, because there's obviously always going to be people in the comments that are saying, oh yeah, but you're just moaning about the game. Listen to this for a second. This is The Division 2's latest tweet. We are temporarily disabling the ability to purchase the Season 2 Pass from the in-game store and the Season 2 menu due to a bug which immediately grants all seasonal rewards from the premium track. That, that's right, you heard it. Immediately grants all seasonal rewards from that premium track. Every single reward. If you just manage to get on as soon as the servers come back up and you've stupidly, like if you've acted like a moron and you've paid for Season 2, for that premium track, you got all your rewards instantly. So there is nothing to play season two for now because chances are they will tell you, oh, we're, we're going to sort it out. We'll reset it so the rewards will go back to normal. I don't think that's going to be the case for everyone. Like, I don't know how many people have paid for this straight away. I mean, you're kind of an idiot. Well, not kind of. You are an idiot. The paying for it in general, let alone straight away. And I'll explain that as we get into it. I'm not just... Straight up calling people in the community an idiot for no reason. L look at this. We'll jump in. Have, have a look. This, this is the new seasons, yeah? So, rewards track. Let's go and have a look at this. It, it's saying unlocked like for a lot of it, but the season's not available yet. I'm hoping they have the ability to fix that one. I really bloody do. So, Keena's Legacy Agent. Like, this is the tiers. Like, tier one, you look at the premium track, the bottom one. This is what you're paying £10 for. This is what the £10 is going to get you this. Faction key. You can go to an underground entrance on this game. You can go and farm faction keys. Pointless. Gear die. Pointless. They look horrible nine times out of ten. Apparel cash keys. You can earn those by leveling up whilst an apparel event is running. And it just, it just in general. like That's just standard apparel cash keys. So crafting material cash. You can grind, you can actually play the game and just get yourself crafting materials. There are ways to farm them. You get the Eclipse outfit. Not too bothered about one outfit. There's an apparel event. There has been several in the past. There's plenty of outfits to choose from in the game. Don't need that one. Not really relevant. Another faction key. Uh, Kina's Legacy Cash contains current season items and materials. So stuff that you can earn from just playing the seasons. You're going to get a cash that gives you it. More apparel cash keys. Textiles, which you're limited with your purchases with textiles. A lot of them are just locked behind the premium currency, which is going to cost you real money. Then, named item cash, you're going to get a named item. I mean, you can just go do targeted loot and get yourself a named item just by playing the game. Faction key again, gear die again, apparel cash key again, crafting material cash again, named item cash again. Faction key, crate, keys, textiles, crate, key, gear die. Cash keys. Crafted material cash. Oh, you get a fucking emote. Tier 25, you get yourself an emote. And faction key. The crate again. Oh, another keys. Oh, textiles. Oh, my God. There's a weapon skin. Smoke moth. And you, you get yourself a SIG 556 weapon skin. I mean, if you're choosing weapons to use, chances are you're not going to use the SIG. Just put it that way. Oh, no, there's a crate. Die. Key. Crate. Crate. Key. Crate key textiles oh another weapon skin <sighs> again for another sig key die keys crate <laughs> oh you get an exotic cash they've also just implemented new ways to get exotic caches and part of the seasonal content you get exotic caches as well bear in mind for the free track you're getting a legacy season cache contains items from the previous season so What's the point of uh, paying for anything related to seasons? Because you can just go get the legacy cash for free and get some stuff from the old season. No, you, you're paying money for this, and the seasons are limited to three months. But don't don't worry. Once the season's over, you can still go back and get all your rewards that you didn't manage to find the time to get in three months. Back to key crate key textiles. Ah, oh, another remote called TikTok. Key. Oh, no, I skipped an entire thing. Key. Die. Keys. Cash. Uh, 
Okay, you got a Negev weapon skin. They nerfed that into the ground, so people won't really use the Negev now. And we're not going to focus on the free track, even though that is the Mantis. We'll have a look at that in a minute. There are three things that I want to point out on that track. Key, crate, key, textiles, crate. Key, die. <sighs> key, crate, crate. Ugh, die. Crate, key, textiles. Ah, oh, classic M44 carbine weapon skin. Never seen anyone use that gun on this game, ever. Never seen a build of it before. Key, die, key. Crate, ah. Oh. Bullet trick emote, okay? Another emote, that's three in this season. Key, crate, key, textile. Ah, oh. you get the Resolute MK47 weapon skin, called Hornet. You can get weapon skins several different ways in the game. Key, die, key, crate, crate. Key, crate, key, textiles. Ah, oh, universal weapon skin. Again, just a, weapon, a couple of weapon skins in here. Nothing fancy. Key, die, key, crate. Exotic cash. One on the free pass as, as well as the premium track. Key, crate, key, textiles. Oh, you get Havoc Mask. Gets us to here 100. Pay £10 for this season. All you're going to get is a fucking mask. You're just going to get one mask, which doesn't even look the best. Ah, uh, that is... Uh, okay, so that, that's your £10 spent, yeah? That, that's your seasonal rewards. Let's go and have a look at this. Uh, tier 48, look at the top. Roosevelt Island Manhunt Jupiter. Permanently unlocks Season 1 Prime Target Mission. If you want your EMP shitty bomb, get to Tier 48 in Season 2, and as a reward, you can go back and get your sticky bomb. Tier 48, almost halfway through the season's levels, and you can go back and play content from Season 1. You had three months to get that sticky bomb. That's what they're going to do. Let's have a look at this. Tier 55. I, I know the, the Mantis is put into the general loopholes, if they do that straight away. But Tier 55 for the Mantis. Look at this. How far in. Tier 90. If you have bad exotic RNG, tier 90 for the... Coyote's mask was level 30 fucking 5. They've put this shit at 90. But what's, what's better... Two seconds, let's go back to 55. What's better than getting the Mantis? What's better... And getting yourself... Let's even have a look at that. What's that? Chain killer. Named Vest. What's better than a blueprint for a weapon? A legacy season cache. A named rifle. Another cache. An exotic mask. An exotic cache. All these exotics. What's tier 100? A fucking patch. A patch that will sit on your arm... And no one will ever bother to look at. There's an emote you can show off and... Oh, look at my patch on my arm. Minya, minya, me. No one's going to use that. If you've been in the raid, you're going to prioritise raid patches over this. Why the fuck are you getting a patch for tier 100? It gets 20 times worse, 50 times worse, 500 times fucking worse with this shit season. This is season 2. If you have not got Warlords of New York, you cannot participate in any of this content. If you purchase Warlords of New York to play Season 2, you're going to pay £25. So this season is not free. None of the seasons are free because you have to purchase the expansion to participate in them. So this is what you get for giving these developers money. There's another thing outside of the seasons that is based on money. Look at this. Target, Termite. Termite League. Hollywood, brand new global event. That's a brand new event for season two. Luna, Phoenix Down Apparel event. Luna League, Polarity Switch makes a return. Huntsman, Huntsman League, Reanimated makes a return from season one. Polarity Switch and Reanimated are season one global events. Target, Titan, Titan League, 
Guardians. All three of the Season 1 Global Events have been put into Season 2. So, you pay money to buy the expansion, participate in this season. You are not even getting 12 weeks worth of new content. The events don't even cover 12 weeks of new things. There are only 9 weeks that you are paying for because 3 of them are fucking recycled. And there are fanboys all over Reddit that are defending this stuff, saying, oh, it looks really cool. You've already done the fucking stuff that's involved in this season. And I'm sorry, but they're also saying that seasons aren't supposed to be new content. They're supposed to, apparently they're supposed to be guidance. Please explain to me what fucking game that has a season pass does not bring new content. Look at what they do when they release a new season on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They bring in new operators. You get new vehicle skins. You get new blueprints to try out brand new weapons and lots of them. You get COD points and stuff. Like, you get new maps and new modes and loads of different stuff. It's new fucking content. If you can't process that into your head, then you need to get out of Massive Entertainment's fucking arsehole. It is disgusting how people are actually defending this. It is absolutely disgusting. What makes this worse? I've said, like, this is proof that they literally have no ideas left between the people that are working on this shit. Absolutely nothing left, because look at this Hollywood. Hostile factions have deployed firearm-resistant fields, meaning... If it's like the shape of a support station, it's going to give you a field. It's going to be like a radius. You cannot fire your guns. It is firearm resistant. You can break them with explosives, EMPs, or specialization weapon damage. If you can use your specialization weapon to destroy them, why can't you use your normal? Why is, how is it a firearm resistant field? If you can use your fucking specialization firearm. Look at the reward. Fucking shades, sunglasses, backpack, fucking bullshit trophy. I don't care about a backpack trophy. 90% of the time because of the diabolical fucking field of view on this game, you can't even see your backpack trophy. You either have to stand there and move your camera around, get your mate to stare at your fucking asshole, or you have to go into photo mode to focus on this. And shades, sunglasses. 90% of the time in this game it's raining. Look at the other rewards. Uh, actually, no, fuck the other rewards. Where is it? Look at polarity switch. Magnetic. It's the same goddamn backpack trophy that we had from season one there is nothing new for us to earn it's the same and this is a tier 10 reward this is the final reward you can get for this polarity switch event tier 9 will grant you an exotic cash tier 10 will give you this stupid fucking magnet that's going to sit dangling off your asshole this is not acceptable just look at this Let's go back to the rewards track. All of this. You have to pay money for this bottom row. You can play the game and earn all of that stuff. Do not give Massive the money. If you buy this, you are simply a fucking idiot. There are no two ways about it. Gear dies. You don't need them. They're not worth £10. These apparel cash keys. Go and do some levelling. Wait for the apparel event to come out. Like This is probably for the standard caches. Let's go and have a look at my apparel. Look at this. 99 plus. I've probably got about 150 of them. I don't fucking care. I don't need to open these caches. I have bits of apparel that I'm happy with. And you can play the game and simply earn these keys. You're paying £10 for this. But look at this. Legacy apparel cash keys make a comeback for a month. And you can only buy these with premium credits, which is costing you real-life money. Look at this premium credits. There's 100 credits a crate. Look at this. 6,500 is going to cost you £40. 
With that £40, you could go out for a fucking meal at a restaurant. You could do lots of things. You could... That could be a little bit of a portion towards your pre-order for a new console. That could be your replacement, I don't know, let's just say your CPU cooler, your, your fan inside your PC. It's the cost of that. Like, back in the days of the Xbox 360, I know time's moved on or whatever, but back in the days of the 360, that is the price of a AAA game. GTA 5 comes out on a 360, it's going to cost you £40. Like, these microtransactions, and, and look... Look how nothing is pulsating. There's, there's no movement in any of this besides their one-time offer because they're, they're literally using a bit of a, like a flashing image to try and encourage you. And look, you even with this purchase, you even get yourself a mask. Take the mask, cover your face, and be ashamed of what you've done to this game, Massive. You have fucked it so badly. And I've not even like dived into anything TU10 related yet. I just saw this, so I had to make this video. Like this is such a joke. They are literally taking the piss and money grabbing. This is their last ditch attempt to get money before the game dies off when other games come out. There's, there's, there's no two ways, the, the game's going to die. Cyberpunk and Outriders and everything are going to put this game in the ground. It, it, it's going to be the case because the devs just, they haven't cared like, Terry Spires, the Frederick Thylander, like loads of their development team have left and they've not been here for over three months now. Like Red Storm quit doing the PvP stuff probably eight, nine months ago or something. A long, long time ago. These devs are literally hanging on by a thread and hoping people are going to be fucking idiots and purchase all this stuff. Look how nothing moves besides this one-time offer to make it stand out and they've added this mask in one mask. If you're going to make a season, if you're going to try and grab people's money, you need to make it worthwhile. Instead of one weapon skin or one gear die, for that premium track reward, give out a bundle. You get a pack of six weapon skins. Or you get a pack of three, but they're universal. You can use them across any gun you want. They're not just for set guns. You need to... Like, I'm, I'm not even going to say it. Like, they should, they really should have thought more about what the community wants and stuff that's going to encourage people. If you are genuinely excited about the premium track for Season 2, then I'm sorry, but you're fucked. Like, I can't believe you would give them money for this. I really cannot believe you would pay for the premium track. And don't believe a word they say like they've made a bug they've implemented a bug that gives you every single reward do not believe them when they go on their state of the game streams every wednesday and they say to you the seasons are free to participate they're not you have to pay for warlords of new york you have to buy a 25 pound expansion which gives you about 12 pound 50s worth of content to actually play the campaign can be done in about four or five hours that like if you're just even half decent at the game if you are really, really good at the game, then you're going to get it done in like three or four hours if you can be efficient with it. It's not long. You're getting about £12.50's worth of content, then the other uh, £12.50 is to cover them for giving away the seasons, or quote-unquote giving away, because they are still charging for them. But I'm going to go, I'm going to get some like other footage, I'm going to get myself some content. I'm testing all their loot drops and stuff, and I want to see if the weapons actually feel better. And I've already heard, apparently, loot generosity's out of the window. I don't know why Yannick's saying that, if it's a load of bollocks. Because apparently loot hasn't changed one bit. The drops are nowhere near better. But I'm going to leave the video there. No, let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.